Hello everybody, so I'm trying something new here. As you can see, I'm going to analyze a game of mine from the first round of the Bangkok Chess Club Open taking place in Thailand with an actual board. So this is a little bit different and I'm looking forward to your feedback, how you like it. it took me quite a while to set this up, so I can't really change anything with the cameras. And you can be like, hi, maybe you can see me now. But um, uh, let's get started. I was playing against Finn, Finn Noah from Denmark and I started out with e4 as I always do, he replied with the Sicilian and he went for the Taimanov variation knight c6, knight c3, queen c7, bishop e3, a6 and here I have two moves queen f3 which is like the modern approach I like to play this move but I also like this other move bishop d3 which I also recommend in my series on chess 24 where I present this repertoire but it's also only in German available uh, by the way I apologize for the background music nothing I can do about that I'm in an analysis room right now so here he played knight f6 castle and he actually goes for a main line knight e5 and here I went bishop e2 which I knew and now he played bishop c5, which is very interesting. There are also some other moves available. b5 is the main move, and then it goes like f4, knight c4, takes, queen takes, e5, knight d5, takes, queen takes, queen e2. And this is quite interesting, it's probably okay for black, but it feels like to me it's easier for white to play as I have this push. f5, I can play rook d1, and overall I like this position. So that didn't happen. He went for bishop c5 here in this position. And it's an interesting try because now the natural move would be to go f4, but here black just calmly replies with d6. And if I take, takes, now you see the bishop is hanging on e3, so I cannot move my knight, and black will regain the piece and will be completely fine. And this is quite annoying to be honest. It's difficult to. to Un, um, untangle this. So I didn't go for f4. Actually, I still knew this position. I'm pretty sure that a3 is the move. I haven't analyzed this yet with the computer, so I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure a3 is the move. And the point is, if black, he castled now. If black goes b5, I'm pretty sure that now f4 is possible, d6. And the point is, a3 is preparing b4. And here there's some crazy lines. I think it goes like bishop b6. And now, if I'm not mistaken, I can take on b5. And the point is that after it takes b5, now I can take the knight. And, um, well, actually, maybe I'm miss messing this up. I thought something like this would be possible, but now just queen b8. Now maybe. You know, during the, during the game I thought I could take here and then I would be up a couple of pawns but somehow I'm down a piece, so something didn't go right here. Um, oh well, now I realize that at least. But I'm pretty sure it is related to some b4 idea. It's just a question, what's the, what's the next move in this position? But I was so sure there was something with sacrifice on b5. But I can't really get it to work right now, to be honest. Okay, I don't know. Then would be the question what to do after b5. Alright, well, it felt like to me a3 was the move in my, in my repertoire. But there should be something here then. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really figure it out. B4, bishop b6, now sacrifice on b5. But this doesn't convince me, honestly. This is not convincing me. Alright, let's get back to the game. And I have to check this later. So he played castle. And here I played h3. Which is not a great move, I think. I should have gone bishop g5 directly. And I don't even know how he replies. I mean, 
I'm not sure if this is too much of a threat, but it could be unpleasant for black. And next I'm going to go queen d2, rook d1, something like that. So I think bishop g5 straight away would be better. If knight g4, I can probably just play g3. If I take, he takes back. This wasn't too clear. Takes here. I also thought about that, but mm, not sure how to evaluate it. But I think I can just just play g3, and those knights are awkward. Um, and next I can push this knight away or play something else. Just feels awkward here. So maybe bishop e7, but now I can probably go f4. And there are ideas to go e5 next move. Knight c6, I thought. Now it's a threat of knight takes d4. But it seems like I, I should have options here. For example, take on c6. Yeah, something like that. Something like this, maybe d takes. Okay, now maybe I can just play a move like king h1. And I should be should be doing pretty well here, it feels like to me. Alright, so it felt I felt like during the game that I should have gone bishop g5 here right away. In this position, bishop g5 and not h3. Because after d6, now I went bishop g5, and really it didn't help me much that I played h3. And now it's an interesting moment. He went b5. The alternative, I think, is to go knight ed7 to not allow me to take on f6, or to rather be able to take back with the knight. But I thought I can play knight b3, threatening to gain the bishop pair. And after bishop a7, he wants to go b5 next, bishop b7. And I think a4 is quite unpleasant. You know, if this bishop is the main problem for black in this position, if this bishop were, was here, everything would be completely fine. But a bishop is here, outside of the pawn chain, it just, it really doesn't work that well for black, it feels like to me. I mean, I'm not sure how I'm going to make progress, but the bishop is just misplaced. I mean, he could play b6, and now maybe I just go queen d2. Bishop b7, rook d1. Oh, excuse me, this one's hanging. Um, yeah, probably should do something along these lines. But it's just this bishop. Right, hold on, hold on. So this position, he goes b6. Yeah, maybe I, I don't go to d2, but I go to d3. I like that better. And now bishop b7, rook d1. Uh, threatening to take on d6. And if he goes knight e5 or anything like that, I can maybe either take on d6 or go queen g3. I feel like. So probably he gets to go bishop b8, but now this is again awkward. Of course, sometimes this is the threat of d5, but maybe I can just go bishop h4 to answer d5, bishop g3. And it feels like this should be better for me. But maybe there's a better option than what he did in the game. Because in the game, after b5, bishop takes f6, this is here, g takes f6. It feels pretty dangerous for black already with the weakened king. And now he definitely made a big mistake. He played knight c4 and he really needs this knight in the defense. So I was expecting a move like king to h8 maybe. And to prepare rook g8. But I, I was thinking queen h6 anyway, hitting f6 and rook f8. So he has to go knight g6 and just rook d1. And um, I don't know, let's say bishop b7. And I'll go king h1. And I'll go f4 next. And it's really difficult for him to, to do anything. And I have plenty of ideas. I can maybe go f5. And this knight is, is, is misplaced. I mean, it's helping in the defense, but it's also a target for me. So, in general, it feels like the position is already more pleasant for uh, white. I also looked at b4 here, but probably just take. And again, queen h6, it all seems dangerous. All seems quite dangerous. So I'm not sure what his best option would be. 
but probably something along the lines of king h8 or something like that. Okay, knight c4, I took, takes, I now play rook 81. After which I was a little bit mad at myself because I played this rather quickly and then I realized afterwards, whoa, this is move knight f5, which might be possible. And I was a little bit annoyed with myself that I didn't check it. But it turns out it seems like black can defend here. Not after e takes f5 though, I think here white is winning after knight d5, queen d8, queen h6, bishop d4. It seems like first black is defending, but I think rook d1 now and uh, the, the black position will just fall apart. Now if black takes here, I think c3 is quite strong. To cut out the bishop, he has to take, knight takes, and yeah, that looks pretty much winning. Should be winning, I feel like. Um, and if bishop e5, probably just f4, or oh, this king is here. So probably bishop e6, but just rook takes d4, bishop takes d5. Yeah, I mean, this is game over, obviously, with the rook coming here. So this is good. This is winning for for white, but black doesn't have to comply. He can probably, in this position, play bishop b7. This one is here. So this was the position, knight f5. No, instead of taking, go bishop b7. And uh, if I play queen h6, now black can just take. So maybe knight h6 check now. King h8, knight g4, but okay, it's not that clear, to be fair. Um, so, okay, I wasn't too mad at myself that I missed that. And rook 81 is the natural move to prepare queen h6. And here he absolutely needs to play king g7. I think it's the only move. He played bishop d7, then he's just dead lost. I think king g7 is the only move to stop queen h6 from happening. But, um, yeah, I mean, still, I think it's very bad. For example, queen e2, threatening to take on c4 as well, bringing the queen over. Yeah, actually, I mean, this is probably just as well, more or less hopeless, if I think about it, honestly. I mean, what to do? What to do, really? If you defend the pawn and give a check, bring my queen to h4, okay, king g7 back, maybe. But this just can't work for um, for black because there are always these tricks. For example here, knight f5 check already works. Oh no, it doesn't, excuse me. Uh, this is still defending, still defending for for black. But th those ideas are always in the position. But maybe I can just, this one's here, just go rookie one, go rookie three, something like this. And what is black going to do? I mean, just not enough pieces. They're all over here and they need to be over here. So this is probably either way, it's, it's about lost already, I think, for black. So my opponent played bishop d7, I went queen h6, he went queen d8, and now it's a little task for you guys. How did I play here? What did I play next? And probably very easy because we already saw the motive. So if you want to take a moment here, think about it, and then continue with the video. All right, knight f5, obviously, is just winning on the spot. Threatening mate, so he has to take, and now knight d5 is coming in. And there's no way really to defend this pawn. Also see that the rook is covering the d4 square. So he played bishop e6, I took. He took with the queen, I took back. He took on e4, and he only has two bishops, of course, that's not sufficient. So I played rook f1, d5, and now... Well, obviously in many ways, but I felt like rook takes d5 is the easiest. Bishop takes, queen g5 check, king h8, queen takes d5. And here he resigned actually, and that is very much appropriate. He can't play bishop e7 because of queen e5. And if he plays bishop a7, I'll just take on an e4. And um, yeah, what to do? I have an attack going against the king, I have much more material, it's just completely, completely hopeless. So my opponent resigned right here. So a fairly effortless game in the first round, still good warm up for me and we'll see how it continues. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis and please let me know how you like this format in general, how you like it compared to analyzing the game on the computer. All right. 
Bye bye.